about Sahih Muslim. Sahih Muslim is a collection of hadith compiled by Imam Muslim Ibn Al Hajjaj Al Naisaburi Rahimullah. His collection is considered to be one of the most authentic authentic collections of the Sunnah of the Prophet, and along with Sahih Al Bukhari, forms the Sahihain or the two Sahis. It contains roughly 7,500 7, with repetitions in 57 books. The translation provided here is by Abdul Hamid Siddiqui. Author bio Imam Muslim's full name is Abu Al Hussein. Muslim Ibn Al Hajjaj Ibn Muslim Ibn Warat Al Kushairi Al Naisaburi 206 to 261 HA 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 821 to 875 AD Imam Muslim as his Nasba shows belong to the Qusar tribe of the Arabs, an offshoot of the great clan of Rabia. <coughs> he was born in Naisabur, Nishapur, in 206 or, or 821. His parents were righteous people who left such an indelible impression on his mind that he spent his life as a God-fearing person and always adhere to the path of righteousness. Imam Muslim traveled widely to collect hadith in Arabia, Egypt, Syria and Iraq, where he attended the lectures of some of the prominent muhadith, muhadith of his time. <coughs> Ishaq B. Rahavai Ahmad B. B. Hanbal Ubaidullah al Kawariri, Kutaiba bin Said, Abdullah ibn Maslama, Harmala bin Yahya, and others. After completing his education, he settled down at Nishapur. There he came into co contact with Imam al Bukhari. Imam Muslim was impressed with Imam al Bukhari's knowledge that he kept himself attached to him up to the end of his life. Another muhadith that influenced Imam Muslim was Muhammad ibn Yahya al Duhali, and he and he attended his lectures regularly. But when the difference of opinion between Muhammad b Yahya and Imam Bukhari on the issue of the creation of the Holy Quran sharpened into hostility. Imam Muslim sided with Imam Bukhari and abandoned Muhammad b Yahya altogether. He was therefore a true disciple of Imam al Bukhari. <coughs> he wrote many books and treatises treatise on hadith, but the most important of his work is the collection Jami of his Sahih. He, or, or he originally named his book Musnad as Sahih and mentioned in his book that he wrote, authored such a book in response to a question from one of his students. <coughs> Imam Muslim met meticulously collected 300,000 hadith and after a thorough examination of them retained only 4,000. The genius, the, gen the genius, the genuineness of which were fully established, he pref prefixed, he prefixed to his compilation a very illuminating introduction in which he specified some of the principles in which he had followed in the choice of his material. Imam Muslim has to his credit many other valuable contributions to different branches of hadith literature 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 and most of them retain their eminence 
even to the present day amongst this Kitab al-Musnad al-Kabir Allah al-Rijjah Jami Kabir Kitab al-Asma Wal Kuna Kitab al la Kitab al-Vijda are very important <coughs> Methods of classification and annotation Imam Muslim strictly observed many princi principles of the science of Hadith which had been slightly ignored by his great teacher Imam Bukhari May Allah have mercy on both of them Imam Muslim considered, considered only such traditions to be genuine and authentic as had been transmitted to him by an unbroken chain of reliable authorities up to the Prophet <coughs> and were in perfect harmony with what had been related by other narrators whose trustworthiness was unanimously accepted and who were free from all defects he divided narrators and sub-narrators into three levels <coughs> One those people who are completely authentic in their memory and character with no deficiency whatsoever <laughs> they were known to be honest and trustworthy two people of slightly lesser memory and perfection than the previous category yet still trustworthy and knowledgeable not liars by any measure examples of people in this category included Atta ibn Sayyid and late ibn Abi Sulaim. <laughs> 3. People whose honesty was a subject of dispute or even discussion. Imam Muslim did not concern himself with such people. Examples in his category include Abdullah ibn Maswar and Muhammad ibn Sayyid al Maslub. <laughs> Moreover, Moreover, Imam Bukhari, while describing the chain of narrators, sometimes mentioned, mentions their kunya and sometimes gives their names. This is particularly true in case of the narrators of Syria. This creates a sort of confusion, which Imam Muslim has avoided. <coughs> Imam Muslim takes particular care in according the, the exact words of the narrators and points out even the minutest difference in the wording of the reports. Imam Muslim has also con constantly kept in view the difference between the two well-known modes of narration. Hadatana, be narr he narrated to us, and, Akka, and Akbarana, the inf he informed us. He is of the opinion that the first mode is used only when the teacher is narrating the hadith and the student is listening to it, while the second mode of expression implies that the student is reading the hadith before the teacher. This reflects his utmost care in the transmission of a hadith. Imam Muslim has taken great pains in connecting the chain of narrators. He has recorded only that hadith which at least two reliable tabin successors had heard from the from two companions, and this principle is observed throughout the sub subsequent chain of narrators. Sahih Muslim has been explained by Imam An Nawawi and one of his teachers, Abu Amr ibn Salah. <coughs> His students, his students, Imam Muslim had a very wide circle of students who learned hadith from him. Some of them occupy a very prominent position in Islamic history, e.g., Abu Hatim Rasi, Musa ibn Harun, Ahmad Ahmad ibn Salama, Abu Isa Tirmidhi, Abu Bakr ibn Kusayma, Abu Avana and Al Dahabi. His death. Imam Muslim lived for 50, 
five years, he spent most of his time in learning Hadith in its compil compilation, in its teaching and transmission. He always remained absorbed in his single pursuit and nothing could distract his attention from this pious task. He died in 261 or 875 and was buried in the suburbs of Nishapur. <laughs>